Hey there, I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, I wanna show you the three main ways that you can organize your subscribers inside ConvertKit and why these three main ways of organization are super stinking neat. So let's get started. Okay, so the three main ways you can organize your subscribers are via forms, sequences, and tags. So let me show you what I mean. Well, with forms, those are simply the ways someone can sign up and opt in to be part of your list. You can offer a class, a freebie, or just say, sign up for my email newsletter at the bottom of your post. Hint, I don't recommend you use that method, but the choice is yours. So there are loads of different ways someone can get on your list and they do it in ConvertKit inside a form rather than being put onto different lists for every different freebie. So forms is one way you'll always, if someone signs up via a certain form, um, you will always be able to tell who's on what form at any given time and customize who gets your emails based on who has signed up for different forms. So that's the first way. Let's go over to the subscribers over here and I'll show you the second way. So the second way that you can organize your subscribers is with tags. So again, this is so brilliant to me. I love it so much more than having to have all these separate lists where I might get duplicates or where, you know, let's say in MailChimp, if I want to send an email to everybody and I have 10 different lists and I had to have those 10 different lists because I was giving them different freebies and they were coming from different places and different forms. Well, in MailChimp, if I have duplicates, those people would literally just get the email twice, which is so annoying. Or maybe three or five times, depending on if they were a true blue loyal follower and they had signed up for everything I had to offer. That is such a bummer. Not to mention you're paying for all those duplicates. But in ConvertKit, not so, because you don't have multiple lists. You just have the forms and, secondly, the tags. What you can do is have people, you know, automatically imported from different sources. So we have our different Shopify customers who are automatically imported and tagged in here. The Get Found Guide customers are here. People who subscribe for freebies show up here. Planner purchasers show up here. General Shopify customers. Um, oh, here's a bigger list of Get Found Guide. I was gonna say, I knew that was a bigger list of people. So anyways, and then all of my course customers get automatically imported and tagged. And so I can easily see where all my customers are. Let's say I have an update on the course. And so I only want my course customers to see it. Well, I can send an email just to them. So super brilliant. The customization options here are just really unlimited. The other thing too is you can choose to import subscribers. So, you know, if you weren't fancy schmancy, but you had a group of people who all signed up for something in particular, or you had a group of customers, you can hit import right here. And from there I can choose. Do I want to add them to a form? Probably not, but instead I could tag them. I can also add them to a sequence automatically, which is really cool. I'll go over sequences in just a minute here. I can automatically tag them with any of these handy dandy tags. And then lastly, you can organize your subscribers by sequence. So a sequence is like an automated email series. I should really have a lot more automated email series. My main one right now is just this one, how to make sales with Pinterest. So it's a little five day course. And then after the five day course, I do kind of introduce my full Pinterest course and send them, you know, a few extra bonuses and things like that. So it tells you right here, 13 day sequence with nine emails. I'll show you how to create a sequence in a minute, but just wanted to show you that that's one more way you can customize your emails and how you've organized your subscribers. It'll automatically categorize all your different sequences so you can customize those and convert kit. So let me show you what that looks like in terms of sending out an email and all of the potential options that you have for who you're gonna send your email to. So I just go over here to broadcast, I hit new broadcast, and then right here it says, you, I choose who I want the broadcast to be from. So mine says Brilliant Business Moms dash Beth Ann, and there's my email address. You can make it say whatever you want. And then who do I want it to go to? So I don't have to pick all my subscribers. I can say someone who is has a certain tag. So again, let's just do 
get found guide and as I start typing it's finding any of those words so I it looked like I had two different get found guide groups of people so I'll make sure I add both of them to the list oh actually it's and and I'm gonna do this if I want to include both of them rather than just the overlap I will need to bring it down here any of the following so matching any of the following so they could be either subscribe to this one or subscribe to this one there we go now it's going to show me all of the subscribers they could be on either one of these get found guide lists then i can go next step and i can just send them an email hey etsy seoers here's a brand new tip for you guys here's something new i added to the guide Da, da 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 yay email and decide when I'm gonna schedule and send it so pretty cool but let's go back to recipients I'll show you just a few more examples of why this is so crazy cool let's say I want to send an email to most of the people on my list but not some of my brand new subscribers who are signed, signed up for a class because the people who have just found me, let's say this week via Facebook or Pinterest and they wanna sign up for one of my free classes, um, I don't want to overwhelm them with all of this other information and you know all the general brilliant business mom stuff i want them to be focused on learning about pinterest marketing and getting the most they possibly can out of that class and so i'm going to exclude them from my general emails until after they're through my webinar sequence so here's what i can do so right now here's all my subscribers up here but I'm gonna add a filter group, and so I'll say matching none of the following. So these are the people that I don't want to be here, that I don't want to receive this email. So I'll go to forms, because that's where all my webinar people are, and I'll say, nope, I don't want those people to get it, and I don't want these people to get it, and so I'm gonna add that filter. So it just took away several thousand people that I don't want to receive this email, and then next step, and Bada bang, bada bing, there we go. I just customize exactly who got that email. Or, you know, once again, if I want to just send it to people on a certain sequence, I can go ahead and do that. So how to make sales with Pinterest. I have a broadcast email. So that's what's super cool too. In MailChimp, I am pretty sure that you cannot send a broadcast email out to people while they are going through one of your automation series. I'm pretty sure, I remember having lots of issues with someone was in my series, but wait, I want everybody to get my announcement about whatever happens to be going on and MailChimp was just making it impossible and it was driving me insane. But here, guess what, doesn't matter. These how to make sales with Pinterest people, um, it doesn't matter what point they're at in the series, I could go ahead and just send them all an email about something if I wanted to, if I felt like it. And that's what I love with ConvertKit, like it's my choice. I get to choose who gets what, when, where, how. It's just the customization options are truly unlimited. So just wanted to show you that. Again, the three main ways you can organize your subscribers via forms, via sequences, and via those handy dandy tags that you can choose to set up. And again, Ellen is gonna show you in a later video how you can automatically import, let's say, a customer from Shopify and tag them with a with an automatic tag. So you'll learn about that a little bit later, but just wanted to show you how stinking cool it is to be able to organize your subscribers in such a detailed way. That's it for this video. Now it's your turn to head out there and be brilliant.